Peace and blessings. This is Lisa Marie Goodson of the Blackberry Beauty Transformative Academy, Ancient African Wisdom for the Modern Sister. Hey, queens. Hey, kings. I know my kings is watching as well. How you doing? I hope you're well. It is, uh, it's cold. It's like 31 degrees, but I got to go outside, y'all. And I will be going outside because I have some amazing errands to run. I'm actually going to go to Target to pick up my my Justina Blakeney's uh, Blue Hymaya. It's this beautiful blue quilt, and like I'm all feeling blue. You can see I got the blues, got the purples. Oh yeah, first wait, wait, let me see. Let's do our wait. Let's do our get. Let's do, let's do our show yo sexy first. Let's show. Wait a second. Let's show, can we show the sexy? How could we show this sexy better? Let me see. Can't do it that way. I'm sorry. I really would like to show you my sexy. And it's going to be a little hard to show you my sexy, but my sexy is sexy. She's on point. But anyway, in blue, <laughs> I'm picking up my blue uh, quilt today from Target, gifted to me. And I'm so excited. And while I'm there, I thought to myself, you know, my sister was telling me, she said, you know, Lisa Marie, buy something for yourself. Don't buy anything else for the house. Oh, you can buy stuff for the house, but next buy something for yourself. And I couldn't think of what it was. I was like, a new dress, I got those. Like what? What would I buy for myself? Some se a sexy like leotard. Like I thought lingerie, something lace or velvet, something one piece since I like to wear leotards, but something beautiful and sexy. So I saw, so I went on Target because I got a $30 gift card from Target. And I went on Target. <laughs> And the one, it was a red lacy, it was, but it's still a bodysuit. And it's just, oh my God, I'm going to wear it for y'all. I'm going to wear my bodysuit lingerie on this channel for you. Do you know what I did this morning for my mastermind group? I did a get ready with me, but honey, I was in my panties and my so-called bra. I wear, I wear, I don't really wear bras. I wear these bralette things. But anyway, <laughs> I was in my panties and bras. I was like, we getting dressed, y'all. We getting dressed. And I'm going to show you everything. I'm going to show you my beautiful body because that's how you got to believe you. You got you want to get to I feel great about myself, then you better look in the mirror and see great right now. Because if you wait till you see when you feel great, first you got to see it. Look in that mirror. You got a body. Some of you got two legs and you can stand on them. You are voluptuous, beautiful. I was even looking at my, what I would never even think of as cellulite. I was like, isn't that cellulite sexy? Ask a real man. A real man will tell you that little bit of nipple dimples in there, that little bit of dimples, that little bit of sexiness, that ish is real. And that is too sexy and too beautiful. We got so much to be so happy about. Y'all, it's not all bad. It's all good. You know, the whole thing, like, I was thinking about this idea of, because I'm, I'm going back to this idea of the womb work and this, this, that we need this healing and we're not healed and that for so many of us, we go into spirituality because we feel like we are not getting what we want. And usually what we want is somebody else to make us happy, which is not going to very much be possible in the long run and for long term. It's just not going to happen. It can't happen. Can nobody do that for you? But it's okay, because our divine mate, at the end of the chapter, we find our divine mate through all of the pain and suffering, the getting up early and making change in our entire lives so we don't even recognize ourselves anymore, you know, because there's something in you that you left behind. You didn't want to leave it all. That's why I say, you're not all bad. But some of us are leaving everything that we were to be this new spiritual sacred sister, when in actuality, some of that was damn sacred because it was you. It was you and only the way that you could be. It was the expression of you and only the way that was you. Don't throw that way. She ain't all bad. You better go back and fetch her and get what was lost and bring that back anew. You're supposed to bring yourself back anew. You're the one that was lost. You're now lost. Now you lost her. You gained her and you lost her. What were we going to do? It can't be either or. That's Eurocentric. It's in both. And I think about it so much and I go, you know, we, when we hear, when you hear this, when you hear that sister, well, every man you sleep with, you're sleeping with everybody he slept with and everybody they slept with and everybody they slept with. Okay, wait a second. Do you feel good when you hear that? 
Because I would feel like, well, I'm damn dead. Ain't nothing I can do about that. <laughs> like, it's over. Like, is it that bad? Or even when you hear, when you heal yourself, you're healing your mother, and you're healing your mother's mother, and you're healing your mother's mother. Who needs that pressure? Who needs that pressure, even if it's true? Both statements are true, but if you're coming from a place of you are contaminated, this ease, you already know at some point in your life that some of the issue you did wasn't the best decision. How about that? How about just going in like, wow, I, I, I made some not so great decisions back in the past because I didn't know. Or I wanted something outside of myself. Or I was looking for love in all the wrong places. But I'm not going to do that anymore because I understand that that's not really what I wanted. And a lot of it wasn't even fun. Because if you, whatever you did, if you wasn't excited about it, if you didn't have fun while doing it, then no, it wasn't good for you. It wasn't fun. But do we need to go to remind you that everybody you slept with, you sleep with everybody they sleep with, and you sleep with everybody? Do you think that's not a very like positive place to start from? Just because it's true don't make it good for you. It's true. So what? Leave it alone. It's true. People are dying. So why would you focus on that? It's true that children are dying around the world. But why would you focus on that? Why don't you focus on being happy so that we can create more happy mothers and happy fathers so they can have happy children, so they can feed their children? Your happiness is the highest vibrational frequency. You cannot go. You can't get there from there. You can't go to the thousand people that you slept with because now it's a thousand. Well, at least it's a hundred because if you're him and then he slept with you, hit people and then you slept with them people, you don't slept with a hundred people and you just got out the gate. So you slept with one person, but you slept with 100. How is that uplifting? How is knowing, listen, your womb, like Native Americans always talk about people like, oh, Mother Earth is dying. Mother Earth is dying. A Native told me, no, y'all need to stop saying that. Mother Earth ain't going to die. She going to rejuvenate. <laughs> she going to regenerate. She ain't dying. You going to die. She ain't dying. So your womb rejuvenates your womb. The minute that you understand what you did or did not do is important. Yes, but it ain't more important than what you're going to do now. It ain't more important than what you're going to do tomorrow. The past is not more important than now because now you're here. The idea that you got to heal for 500 generations, that's not fair. That's not fair to your individual incarnation in this body to have an experience that is just for you. It's not fair. Religion can do a number on us, whether it's religion or disguise and spirituality, it can do a number on you. And if you're feeling guilty about something, you need to let it go. You need to rejoice. You need to wake up, sing a goddamn good song, and remember how sexy and beautiful you are. You need to get naked. Or walk around the house and be sexy and beautiful, embrace you and love you because you got you. Look, at 51 years old, I'm not having no time. To, I can't be going back because then I'm not here. Why would I go back to a life that I already led? Why not just stay right here and say, well, what do I want to do now? Who am I from all of those experiences? What has those experiences taught me thus far? And wow, how can I use those amazing experiences? Call them amazing. Don't call them wounded. Don't call them unhealed. Don't call them broken. Say, how can I use those amazing, and if you feel it, any of this, thumbs this god dang video up, ladies, because you know who you are. I've le I left so much of myself because when you discard those parts of your womb, nobody told me that I was letting go of everything. Nobody told me that in cleaning and cleansing my womb that I was almost erasing Lisa Marie Sutton, that I was erasing her. And then when I got married, nobody told me I was erasing the individual called me and, and the sexy within me. Nobody told me that, that when I was going to clean my womb and cleanse my womb, that I was cleansing out some of the best parts of myself. It's not all bad. You're not all bad. You weren't all bad. You all good. And you letting go of the other stuff. Girl, you better reclaim, restake. <sighs> so how y'all doing? I hope you're doing well. Hope life is good. Okay. Look, I, I don't have a long. I want to tell you, today is the last day. Thank you, first of all. We had three sisters join yesterday, this current intensive, the happening right now intensive, the sacred hibernation intensive, the winter is the bomb-ish-ish -ish intensive. 
the love yourself and be wild right now intensive called Sacred Hibernation, $97. Today is your last day to join. By tomorrow morning, it will it, you, it's going to be closed and you won't be able to come on in. $97 instead of 147 I really want you there. I really want you there. I really love you. Really want you there. Also, this Sunday, we're doing the Ancestors and Dating, y'all. The things the ancestors told me, if I could help you right there, we could start with the change of your mind and get you out of that damn broken-ass place that everybody want to put us in. We ain't broken. We are healed, and we are sexy, and we are sad. We like to have sex, and sometimes we don't because we've been hurt, and we think we got to do it a certain way, and we're so good right now with our bodies the way it is right now. Every time I get a sister, I'll be like, can we talk about um, 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 healing? Can we talk about detoxing? Why? Because you think you fat? That's why. Because you think you fat. No, you nice and chunky. You nice and fluffy. You nice and solid. You nice and, oh, my God, somebody want to be up in that right about now. And you worried about this whole world. You trying to fix something all your life when you've been that all your life. You better embrace that right now for the rest of your life. Always trying to fix ourselves. Oh, my cellulite. Oh, my little waist. And oh, I, I was in that silliness too. Honey, I eat what I want. It's vegan because that's just me. I'm a choice. I like vegan. Vegan is delicious. Some of the options, that's great. But I dang sure eat when I want, where I want, how I want. We think we're going to kill ourselves. Oh, my God. I, I never drink anything. But you're still dying. So what happened? Because you're not happy. Because happiness is so amazing. Happiness is so sensual. Happiness is so sexual. Happiness is now. 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 <laughs> it now. It's now. Happiness is that back there. I always tell you, happiness is my room. Happiness is these colors I'm wearing. Happiness is this jadeite I'm wearing. Jadeite. <laughs> yes. Happiness is this, oh my God, scar. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Happiness is my locks grown, natty dread locks, natty dreads, natty locks. I know we trying to change our words. I just, I think, I think we, I think there's another approach. I think that all healers and teachers and and coaches, I think we all want the same thing for you. We all want you to be happy, and our ways of getting you there, you have to find a way that works for you. I, for one, am not going through a broken state of mind. I'm not going from the wounded state of mind. I'm going from the all good and how can we be better. So my course is about joy. It's about breaking free. It's about coming out of that box. It's about not being afraid. It's about F what everybody else said. It's about, you understand? It's about like how we, can we have, I, can, I got tools for you. But it ain't down, there's a not downtrodden. I'm going to tell you that right now. If you like downtrodden, you probably won't want to come in my courses. If you like you wrong and you got all these years and you got to give up all kinds of sexual intercourse for the rest of your goddamn life, you probably will not like my intensive. But if you want to, if you tie it, if you're looking around, looking at yourself like I'm just so boring or I'm not myself or I lost my sexy or I've been in so much healing. I'm always healing. I'm always healing that I'm kind of sick of healing. Like, isn't that funny? Because you're going to be sick of healing. Like, I just want to kind of just, like, lay off for a while. I just want to kind of feel what I feel. Do you know what it's like to take a bath now and don't call up nothing but myself? To listen to my inner spirit, my higher self, which is me. It's not the separate part of me. When your higher self becomes you and not a separate part of you, hallelujah, you have come to some places where you say, I am God. Oh, my God. What? It's a beautiful place to be. It's a beautiful place to be. So I would love to see y'all in this Sunday, $47, Dating and the Ancestors. It's going to be dope. It's going to be amazing. You know it is. $97, last day to join this intensive, and a whole host of things that's already on the website. So I have a special. Let me get to it. So next year, each of my intensives will be $147. Just without a doubt, that's it. That's the way it is, starting January. But because I'm feeling so sexy right about now, because I'm feeling so wanting to express my brawlessness. <laughs> okay, okay. Because I'm feeling all this, you know, joy, heaviness, and it's now, and it's me, and it's us. I'm going to make the January only for $97. You can start saving your money now because I'm tired of y'all acting like you ain't got no dang money when you got so much. 
God dang it, you a woman. You ain't never supposed to be broke. Do you understand? Do you understand? You a woman, you broke. No, that can't be. That can't be. No woman's supposed to be broke. You a woman. You supposed to smile and get money. You supposed to have the pie. Remember the pie from the oven? Like the old Roma supposed to drop money at your feet. Do you understand? Money, abundance, joy. That's what you're supposed to have. You're a woman. How you going to be? You can't be broke and be a woman. It's impossible. It's impossible. Can, do you like that standpoint at least? Even if you can't feel it, believe it, can you feel it? $97. I'm going to extend it to the 16th of December. I might go a little longer. And it, the first, and that January intensive is called sex. Now, nah, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> It could be called sex, but no, really it isn't because, you know what, it's really called embracing your sexual energy and what that looks like for you. And we're going to go through it for 21 days. We're going to do express ourselves. We're going to do private little things. We're going to do so many fat things that you're going to at least say, who am I? What am I? And where do I need to go right now? What do I want for myself? How, how have I been blocking myself? So this is for the mothers with the children that just don't feel it anymore. This is for the mothers that the children, my, you said something that stood me and I loved it. How we feel like our bodies are not our own. Married women, single women, young women, older women, black women. That's what it's for. And you're going to love it because you ain't never had it like this. And the reason why you have them is because we've been praying too hard and not seeing that what we're praying for is in us. We are it. We are it. I still get in the bathtub. I still give thanks. I give her every day. I'm so grateful. I'm so appreciative. I'm so thankful. I know there's a God. I know there's a higher power. I just realized it's in me. And I'm now living through that higher power. I love the divine. I love spirit. I love spirituality. But what does spirituality look like? We're going to have to start changing it around, y'all. So we won't be cold no more. We can be hot. And we can embrace this time of year called winter and call it winter <laughs> instead of winter we're gonna call it winter it's the time to win and i bet you can do it all right darling so anyway 97 dollars they'll go on sale today later on tonight it's gonna be for january now you want to start your january 2019 off i'm gonna have a guest speaker she know she's on this live stream most likely she's gonna be one of our guest instructors <sighs> If you don't know MW, you're going to be my guest instructor, and uh, we're about to do it in January, so you need to come on. $97 to the 147 is the only one that's going to be $97 all year. So now you know, so save. Okay. I got things to do. Let's see. Precious, I'll see you at 2 today. Hey, Monique, that's a T-shirt. My sexy is sexy. That's what I'm saying. Thank you, Monique. We got to get that one out, right? Tamu, uh, morning OG, original goddess. I love you. Good morning to you. Girl, I'm really loving the gift you gave me from the Amazon wish list. I know I picked it out, but you gave it to me, so I feel like you gave it to me. Hey, Carolyn. Hey, Belinda. Good morning, Tamu. Good morning, Serana, girl. Vicki Washington, where you been, girl? Good morning to you. Shanika Graham, Rising Queens. I'm so glad I caught the live stream. I needed some positive energy from my sisters today. Oh, well, we're giving it all to you. Good morning, Lakeisha. Ashe says, Vicki. Alexa says, hello. Shanika says, yes. Belinda says, speak the real truth. Come on, Queen Tamu. On. I love it, honey. I love the symbols. of. I forget what that is, but it's like rockets of desire. Hey, Belinda. Thank you. Ebony says, yes, sis. Powerful state of being. Yes. Hey, Delisa, Queen, to you. Belinda says, yes. Delisa says, true talk, Blessings. Tamu says, fire. KK. KK says, the pastor says, good, good morning, darling. Cynthia Ali, how you doing? You are speaking the truth. Yes, true, true, says Delisa. Delisa, Alexa, thank you for the, the, the claps. Me too. Speak it, girl. Tamu says, thumbs up. Eat, drink. What and where I want always balanced. Yes, that's right. Always balanced. What, what, mm, yes, what incense are you burning today? I need some honey. Usually I'm burning. Let me tell you, it's more than incense I'm burning today. It's essential oil that I got going up because that's what it is. Now, the incense is my chiri, my chiri, my Senegalese incense. I don't even want to tell you about it because I don't have any to sell, but when I get some, I'll let you know. But what you can get is the Elang Elang, Y L A N G, Y L A N G. It is the sensual, the, the smiley, sedate, sedative. It helps you to be mildly sedated, so it sedates you in a good way. It is very sensual. It helps you get in touch with your inner, like, 
goddess, you know, your inner sexy, your inner I'm just good with me, my, your inner beauty. Just makes you feel so good about who you are in this space right here, right now with nothing else and lacking no essential properties, no essential anything. It's Elang Elang, and I got a lavender, and I got two um, aroma lamps. I got uh, aroma lamps, essential oil lamps. I have one with, that's doing lavender right now, and one that's doing the Elang Elang. So thank you for asking. I think it's a great question. Yes, great rising teacher and ladies. Peace and blessings, everyone. Enjoy the day. You too, Queen. Cynthia Ali, I told my granddaughter the other day that feeling happy feels good. Oh, I love That's a great statement. Feeling happy feels good. Great grandma. Rachie says, rise, Natty, rise. One love, sister. One love, darling. Natty is rising. Natty is so happy. Y'all, my hair is locking already. It's like, thank you. Lisa is, is, is her power lovely. Yes, it is. Delisa, thank you. Shanika, I need some of them incense you burning today. You're on one today. Left all out. Go ahead. It's the it's the Elang Elang, but thank you. Amina, peace to you. How are you? German Hey, Delisa. Yes. Speak teacher. Yes. The abundance is always here. Come on, you're a woman. Monique says, I do this thing where I look for and open myself up to discovering something, someone to fall in love with daily. I'm happy to say that I am in love with you. You're beautiful free spirit lisa marie oh monique i love you blessings to you as well i mean it says this is how do i access your intense i pay for one one another class but i didn't get to the classes okay when, what class did you pay for and yeah we want to get you in the classes amina so tell me what class did you pay for so that i can make sure you get in send me an email the t-h-e black berry beauty at gmail.com the t-h-e blackberrybeauty at gmail.com so we can add you to the class or if you didn't get added to the last one we'll still add you to that one it'll be replays so we can get make sure that you're okay because you gotta yeah definitely always get in touch with me if you ain't get the class girl we don't want that hey justin good day beloved i find highly spiritual women extremely sexy but it has to be daily a dual duality nothing extreme do you understand that queen so it has to be a duality no i don't justin break that down for me those are the bombs dropping because that's what you do. I say, thank you, darling. And, uh, okay. Ordering the Lang Lang now. Yes, locks is the way. Yes, they are. Locks are so beautiful. So, Justin, tell me what you want. Tell me what you need. Let's talk about this. Delisa, I know you've been, you had told me about some water you're selling and you're talking about this idea of imbalance. See, this is the thing. When you are feeling good about yourself, you're going to choose the right foods for you. No, if somebody tell you to eat this way, but you still don't feel good about yourself or drink this way, all you're going to do is eat and drink that way until the disease go, go away. And then, when it, and then when you finish, you're going to go back to eating the same way you used to eat because the disease didn't come from what, what you were eating. It came from how you were feeling. So if you don't check how you feeling, it don't really matter. That's how there's those people that defy that and eat anything they want, but they laugh and they're happy every day and they live longer than the healthy vegan or healthy raw fooders or whatever that's supposed to be. I've learned that and I've seen it all my life, but I couldn't understand why I couldn't get into that. That only way, I used to think that I felt so good eating raw. Really, I was kind of cold, I realized. I, I felt like it kind of jacked with my sexuality too, my, my expression of sexuality. That sometimes warm foods is good. That cup food can't kill, won't gonna kill you because our ancestors lived up so much less and they was good. So it's not the, it's so much, and, and plus, of course, but there are foods that have higher vibrational frequency than other foods. Absolutely. But if you, if you don't feel good about yourself, you're not gonna gravitate to any good food, any good man, any good relationship, any good house, any good work, any good job, any good friends. You don't feel good. Why would somebody, why would good come to not good? So you can, the water is beautiful. I'm not telling you, sell good water to people, but if you sell, put good water in so-called bad situations, it's just going to turn to stank water. It's going to be stank water. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's the idea that people can have sex with somebody that's HIV positive and everybody don't get it. What's up with that? Not that you would want to try that experiment. Please don't do that. It's something else going on. Something that is way more controllable than food. So when you feel amazing about yourself, but you feel happy, it's not, let's take yourself out. Just be happy. 
Happy's going to attract happy foods, happy people, happy work, happy situations. That's why I'm doing my January class because, God dang it, you're going to be sexy and happy. happy you're only going to be sexy because you're happy. The other stuff is false sexy. Chew on that, y'all, for a minute. Chew on that for half a second. Just, just, just know it. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. I want locks, but I'm too impatient. I hear you. I hear you on that. Yes, Mama Delisa. Thank you. Brittany says, I'm getting that language. Like, yes, this ease. Yes, Delisa. What's good oil burner lamp? What's a good oil burner lamp? You know what? I like the, I'll show you. Excuse me. I'll show you tomorrow. This ease. Yes, speak it. Yes, Grand Rise and Lisa Marie and Sister Goddesses. Abundance makes good morning. Thank you, Unc Nebhat Khan. Good morning to you and Grand Rising to you. I hear you. Yes, Queen. Unc Nebhat, yes. Any type of extremes are not good. In the middle way is the best way. BB, in the way. If that's okay, let me say that. <laughs> the Lisa says, root deep, root speak it. Yes, naturally, and heaven says, good morning, Goddess Nubia Eyes. Lisa Marie Goodson, but I love you. The, oh, okay. Okay. Okay, well, I'm not I'm not the rawful goddess. I'm not the womb priest. I'm not none of that no more, darling. Natural and heaven. Didn't we go over this already, darling? <laughs> we go. I'm Lisa Marie Goodson, a free spirit black woman. That's that's this this go there for today. Tomorrow I may add on more things. So please not Nubia I. Definitely not the rawful goddess. Definitely not the womb practitioner. Please don't. Looks like I came in right on time, Grand Rising Joy. Womb Priest says, no, 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 no. Hey, uh, S, <laughs> will you touch on sexuality in this Sunday's intensive? Oh, girl, yes, 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 and without a doubt, I promise. You were just giving me her, that's all, sweetheart. Oh, you know I love you. So sorry. No, it's okay. You know what? It's okay, because I know when you see somebody, you said I was giving you her, and I love that. I don't feel like, I feel like her was restrictive. Like I do, I feel like she was a little restricted. There was so much that she, she had rules and regulations. It's like this, I was thinking today. I was like, I know how, you know how I used to tell the color of the day, but like now I don't really tell the color of the day because I don't really vibrate that way. I don't want to be stuck in the color of the day because it might be the red day, but I want to wear blue. So isn't it more important about what I'm feeling and then what my instincts will direct me to? Isn't it more important that on Friday I want to wear blue instead of green? That in actuality I think Oshun is one sexual or Oshun is one sensual goddess, but you are a goddess too and you don't really have to call up Oshun to feel sensual. That I don't want you to rely on these things when you are enough. And that's what my academy teaches you is you don't believe that you are enough. And I, I mean you, not you, but we don't sometimes believe that we are enough. And I want to teach you and, and get you to practical things that you can do to start feeling like you are enough. So in a sense, the womb priestess, like I'm not a priestess to no womb because we are all priestesses to ourselves and to our, we govern our own, our entire bodies. It's not just even the womb. The womb is not the most important. Every inch of you is important. Every inch of you is vibrating. Every inch of you has the capacity to feel absolutely amazing. So the raw food goddess, oh my God, I'm, even, I'm not even eating raw right now. I eat cooked foods. You know, and a holistic practitioner, uh, yeah, I guess. That sounds a little more better. It just sounds clinical and I don't like that either. So I don't mind. And then like Nubia I, I'm just not Nubia I anymore. I know that's, I'm Lisa Marie. I like Lisa Marie because I'm Lisa Marie like you, somebody is Sharon Johnson. Sharon Johnson, you are enough. You don't have to be a Kiba. You can be Sharon Johnson. See, we give up Sharon Johnson to be a Kiba. Sharon Johnson to be Lisa Mar to be Nubia I. Sharon Johnson to be Unk uh, Keb or Kaba. Or, I'm not saying nothing wrong with the name changing, but it wasn't like nothing was broken with the first person. It's a belief that you believe that. So I changed my name to feel like I can get away from her, but her was so amazing. That's why I'm Lisa Marie, and it's important to me, and I understand. So if I sound like I used to sound, I, and I know for you it's a compliment, I give thanks and I embrace that, but I have to stand in mind who I am. I have to I have you and everybody else please honor Lisa Marie. That's my, that's my name my mama gave me. It was a great name. I'm sorry that I denied it for so long. I'm not actually sorry. That was getting ready to get ready, getting ready to get ready to come back to myself. 
It's more than a notion, isn't it? It's more than a notion to to love you, right? It's more than a notion to fully accept you not needing anything else, huh? It's, it's, it's more than a notion, and I know that it's more than a notion, and that's why I have my classes. So we can make it not so much more than a notion. That's all, queens. That's all. I know you do. I love you too so much, so much. No, don't be sorry, please. Brittany Johnson, there are instant lock methods now. It's like crochet. Oh, there you go. You can do that too if you right, if you don't want to wait. Okay, perhaps I miss you. Don't call yourself that anymore. Oh no, yeah, I don't know. You didn't know. It's Lisa Marie. But thank you so much. No, uh, child, I thought it, you didn't know. Yes, listening to your instincts. Yes. Have you heard of Yoni eggs? It's funny you bring to know Yoni eggs. I love you for mentioning that. So in my bath this morning, um, I was thinking about all the things that just did not resonate with me, like ancestor money, like yoni eggs. Yoni eggs did not resonate with me, but I understand the other day of soothing. If you put the power in the egg, then the egg will make you feel better. But if you put the power in the yoni, then the yoni was better by itself. The yoni ain't broken. It don't really need nothing up in it. Well, <laughs> maybe one or two things. But <laughs> in other words, I mean, things to repair it or to fix it or to bring you in alignment. Crystals definitely can do a lot of that. I agree with you because that's basically what it is. But it, it didn't resonate with me. I was like, you know what? This is like, I'm not feeling this. It don't feel, I don't want to put it. I put it in a hole for a while. Oh, I did it. It just, it just didn't feel like that that was going to help me get connected to my divine sensuality or anything else. If, but if for those that it works for, I mean, like, do it. I'm, my pussy is enough. Like, honestly, it's pow pow in all the way. It's power and lights glowing from the bad boy, capes and all kinds of shawls. I got shawls around mine. Like, I'm just saying, like, crystals fall out when I walk down the street because it's so magnetic. You know what I'm trying to say? We got lightning bolts. If you're careful, you might get in the way and get burnt because there's so much fire got dang down there. Do you understand that my words are creating the, my vagina and the area and the, and the cosmic energy that's around it? It's my joy and belief in what my words that I just said. I just vibed it up for the day. We good for the day. Everybody else got vibe. Is your vagina now vibed up too? Do you have a vibed up vagina behind that? <laughs> I just want to know. <laughs> I just want to know. So, yeah, Shanika, are you talking about, okay, okay, crochet locks. Brittany says, teacher, that's what I meant, that leaning towards extreme. So, yeah, titles looks, yeah, I, I got you, darling. Sienna, Sienna says, time and space, whatever you need to be when you need to be it. Yes. Growth, change, and evolution are so beautiful. Yes, Monique. You are a leader, strong, beautiful, and sensitive. Thank you, darling. I just heard of it, of it still learning. Yes. if Go for it. If you feel it, feel it. M. Goddess says, girl, you said put the power in the yoni because it's already there, really. Just Go down. Go down. That's what you tell them. Go down. <laughs> I just wonder how ha, ha, cool. Yes, Tamu says fire. Cynthia says laugh out loud. Tamu gave me the, the bolts. Thank you. Yes, words are powerful for creative. Yes, yes. Tamu, yes. Cindy Goodson, hey. Hashtag organic pussy power. Yay. <laughs> Delisa says, yes, girl. Vibing for JJ. Yes. Can't wait for our talk next Tuesday. We're going to have so much fun. Nefertari, I love you. Thank you for the donation. I am my sister's keeper. I give Thanks for my sister. I say, I say, I say. Nefertari, thank you for the donation. I love you so much. I like that, Cindy Goodson. Yes. Yes, teacher. Do only what resonates with your inner self spirit. Not going mo yoni. My great living standard says healed and protected my body. Yes. Shanda Cherokee. Thank you, Cherokee. That's a, thank you for all your 100s, your flowers, your Sonia says yes. All I'm saying is... <sighs> You don't need a whole bunch of gimmicks. <laughs> it's not to say it's not gimmicks. I mean, like, I love crystals. I'm wearing a j j jadeite. I'm wearing a jadeite. And, and one, tomorrow I'm going to wear my, you know, my rose, uh, my rainbow uh, moonstone. You know, I'm, I'm all, colors are vibrational. Do you understand? All of it is good. You know, yoni eggs, they have their place. I mean, you could probably hold it and get the same feeling, but you can put it in your yoni too as well. Everything really has a vibration. Frequency. It's what you put in it and on it. These things are real. This is not my creation. It's the creation of the God, one most high, but then God put it all in you. The divine put it all in you. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying yes. Like I wanted to wear blue because blue is giving me a vibrational frequency that I'm feeling today. 
I wanted to put my lipstick on the way I put the dark eyeliner on my lips and then my red lipstick on top. You know what I'm I wanted to have the purple and the gold and wear the head wrap. That was just what I was feeling. I, I'm feeling the jadeite. That's why I'm wearing it every day. It's just, what, it's just that I'm saying we don't know how to feel anymore because it's like, that's not right. Or when I felt that way before, I got in big trouble. Some of us are still so afraid to make decisions because when we made decisions a long time ago, we made mistakes. And we're so afraid we're going to live from those mistakes over and over again. Cut yourself some slack. You ain't dumb. You grow with wisdom. You grow like I'm 51 years old. So a lot of what I'm talking about is experience. And I lived 20 of them years being, I, I don't know, when I look back now, like there was something wrong with my vagina and my womb. It was my fault that I was sleeping with 500 people, even though I slept with one. And it was all, it was the, and I had to heal the generations of everybody to come. And, and I was teaching it. It was the extreme of raw all the time. Like, I was so unhappy, and I realized I was actually physically, like, I think I was cold. I think it affected my sexuality. That's all I'm going to say. I think the, I was hotter. I was a little more hotter before raw foods. Like, I just put that together talking to y'all, but I, don't, I just feel like when I'm happy, I, everything that goes into my body is happy, too. It's like, oh, she happy. I'm going to be happy. It's a vibrational frequency, and your vibrational frequency affects everything. It attracts everything. That's why there's ancestors and the ancestors and dating. Just, just wait and see, y'all. If you want to come into we are going to be talking about sexuality this Sunday, yes. And sacred hibernation is really about this idea of winter because some people get sad, depressed. They got to go to work in the dark, and they're like, how do I get through this? And I'm going to give you a tip with a whole lot of laughter. I want us to be happy and not so serious as black women. I need us to be happy. Oh, Alexa, thank you so much for the gift. Oh, thank you so much for the donation. I love you and I send you my love and my blessings. That's all I'm saying. You fine. You're not bad. You're not nothing wrong. And, you know, I do understand, like I say, I know people got all these like, oh, the food, the water. You know what? When we find out we're sick, then we want to run and go get healthy. But you, you can't get there from here. You can't get there from there. You can't go from sick to healthy. You got to stop saying, I'm sick. You got to understand that there was choices that you made, but most of it was about how you were feeling. You were feeling a way. Anything you did, drugs, alcohol, extreme amount of food, over, eating over much, whatever it is, what was that about? And it's not so sit here and think so deep, like, oh my God, I gotta, I'm bad, and I gotta stay on celibacy for, you know, all this time, and I gotta. I'm not saying people that are celibate are punishing themselves. Please don't get me wrong. I'm saying a lot of times we go celibate because we feel like where we were going was not gonna get, it got us what we wanted. So celibacy is gonna somehow get us something different. You being loving yourself and being happy with yourself and almost laughing at some of the goddamn things you used to do when you was younger. Some of this shit is just young shit. Like, oh, I was young. I was dumb. I was full of cum. Okay, I was young. I was dumb. I was stupid. I was stupid. I, oh, my God, girl. Remember the stupid shit we used to do, girl? Like, we should be having circles about the stupid shit we used to do laughing hysterically. And one, and one sister would be like, no, girl, let me tell you the stupid shit I did. <laughs> wait, wait. And the other sister would be like, no, 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 girl. Let me tell you the stupid shit I did. You'd be like, girl, no, no, that shit was stupid, though. For real, though. But let me tell you the stupid shit I did, girl. Girl, did you do that stupid shit? I did that stupid shit, too. Oh, shit. Well, we, girl, we ain't stupid no more. Hallelujah, we ain't stupid no more. <laughs> we ain't stupid no more. Just so Well, you got to be there, y'all. You got to be there. It ain't that damn serious. You're going to be okay. God damn it. You want to have stupid shit circles? I think we should have stupid shit circles and all the young girls can come because they don't have, maybe when they laugh and they see the they don't do the stupid shit we did or better still, they might do the stupid shit, but they might laugh while they doing the stupid shit. And if they laughing while they doing the stupid shit, they ain't going to be doing the stupid shit for long because happiness and stupid shit don't really go together, but you could flip that shit because you African. You need to put a tilt on that shit. You know, it's funny. I remember... I was in Ngozi, and there was a brother, and he was selling his uh, products, his Shea Butter products. Oh, my God, they were amazing. And his company was called Tilted Crown. And I was like, yo, hey, what? Tilted Crown? I like that. What's up with that? What the, where you get that from? He said, you know black folks. He said, you know we royal, we kings so we, and queens, so we wear our crown. Because we black, we got to tilt that shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, because we black, we got to tilt the crown because we know we got to be extra with our shit. 
You better find your black laughter and humor and joy and laugh about some of that old shit you did and don't give it no more power so we can move on and be happy. Now, I got an intensive. That's last day to go into. It's called Sacred Hibernations today, $97. We got a, a Sunday special this Sunday from 2 to 4 p.m., two hours. It's talking about ancestors and dating. Which one you want? How, how can I help you? How can I help you? You're not a stupid shit club. I'm telling you, it's going to be fine. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. <laughs> You're going to love it. Oh, God. God help me. God help me. Okay, where we at? I know y'all thinking, what's she on? It's the Elaine Elaine. Hey, hey, delete girl, girl. Yes, you said it, says God. It's no Miss Vine is laughing out loud. God it says you said it. Denise says, girl, girl. <sighs> Jimmy says, Good morning, Lisa Marie, and everybody. Glad I caught you live. Me too. Abundance says, Teach Lisa Marie, you are on fire today. <laughs> thank you. Alexa, thank you for that gift. Delisa, you feel good? Yes, feel good. Yes, we are co-creators living only on vibrational frequency. Yes. Good morning, Miss Lisa. Hey, Victoria's Diary. Victoria, I'm so glad as a young woman you on these live streams. Enjoy yourself with us old heads, okay? No, we all ain't old. Some of us is young. There's plenty of stupid shit. Tamu, can we talk about the stupid shit we did and laugh about it? I love you. <laughs> Aura says, happy Friday. Yes, I'm loving myself. I forgive myself for the things I did in Nigeria. It's called stupid shit, honey. It's okay. BB says, yes, I'm a different woman now and grateful for it. Yes, stupid shit circles. I love it. Aurora says, I love it. The stupid shit circles. That'd be the best circles ever. Love this message. Yes, Aquarius. Monique says, laugh my ass off. I say, I am God is live. So I said, stupid shit circle. Let's get it. <laughs> she said, let's get it. Oh, yes. Oh, you're making me roll. I love this shit. I love this shit. Yes, <laughs> Cindy, go on, Cindy. Cindy's my girl. Cindy, go on, hashtag that shit for you. Come on, Cindy. Cindy, say hashtag shit talk. Hashtag stupid shit needs to be a podcast. <laughs> yes. Oh, Justina, I love you. Know I love your name. Justina on com says I shame my sister. I can't wait to join. <laughs> She said, I can't wait to join the stupid shit club. That's what I'm saying. I love you, queen. Now, for Tori says, give thanks, Alexa. We are blessed to be a blessing, and we are most blessed by Sister Lisa Marie. Oh, y'all, thank you. You know what? My eyeliner running everything. <laughs> I love y'all so. Elang Lang, oh, man. <laughs> the Lisa, Elang Lang going to be sold out of all shelves, honey. It's a, it's a, let's go look at it. You want to ask me about what I'm burning? Let me help. Let me show you. Sometimes. Oh, my God. I love y'all so much. Can you imagine what all that laughter just did for us? So this is my aroma lamp. It was purchased from my Amazon wish list. I'm loving. This one is called Vic. Vixing. V-I-C-T-S-I-N-G. Okay. And it's got Elang Elang in it. And it has an on and off and the lighting. And it's so amazing. She says, Shayla I says, ain't no joke, girl. I forgot. I ain't had it in years. I done forgot. So that's what I burn my essential oil in. Let me show you the Langy Lang right now. Oh, y'all done got my mucus up and everything. I love y'all. This is good. Laughter gets mucus out the body, okay? So where is that Langy Lang? Hold on, ladies. So this is this was actually on sale at my local store called Fresh Market, but actually Whole Foods is having a sale on all their essential oils, at least in this area, Elang Lang. This is Elang Lang 3. This one is organic, too. And this is Oracacia. You can get all the Oracacia products from Whole Foods. That's just one place I know. If you have a, Whole Foods, um, a helpful store, you can get it from there as well. Okay? And then let me show you my other essential oil burner that I'm using because I keep them. Now I, I burn essential oils from the diffusers like I do incense. So if you don't feel, you know, no way to not invest in two. And this one, I got a while ago. This one is nice too. It's called Hue Smile, H-O-U-S-M-I-L-E. And this one is burning lavender. And this is my lavender oil. This is Oracacia too, but this one's not organic like the Elang Elang. That's why I think the Elang Elang took me to intergalactic uh, spaces and times. All right. <sighs> isn't it nice to laugh? Like, isn't it nice? Isn't it nice to laugh, y'all? Isn't it nice to be together? 
Isn't it nice to fellowship, womanship, pussy ship? Okay, let's, I'm done. <laughs> That was just that was just so funny. All right, ladies, I love you. I'm gonna be going to Target because my Justina Blakeney new quilt is in. So anybody that's watching my Afrocentric Home Decor and Style channel, please watch because I got some new stuff to show you. Oh, and yes, tomorrow I'm gonna wear my bodysuit and just my bodysuit. And we're gonna have fun. I'm gonna show you my pretty lingerie bodysuit that's gonna be kicking. And we're gonna enjoy it. And we're gonna be like, yes, sister, yes. And also, I'm gonna get some food because it's gonna snow on Sunday in North Carolina. And in North Carolina, if it snows just a tiny bit or the threat of snow, they close the dang town down, girl. Like, it be down. See, that's why people laugh in North Carolina. Be like, ha, 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 you North Carolinans. You're closed down. You're closed down for little shit like one inch of snow. But you know what? That's sacred hibernation. Southern folk understand we ain't rushing nowhere to do nothing. It ain't that damn important. Close the school, the job, the municipal building, the government, <laughs> close it all. Can you imagine if more states, the, uh, up north, that shit is crazy. We just plow through, got to go to work. It's below zero, stand at the bus stop, wait for the bus. That's kind of insane in the membrane. The south got something for you. They ain't moving that fast. It ain't, that, it ain't worth it like that. I'm just sharing. I'm just sharing. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go now. Give thanks. Yes. Okay. I'll be in. I'll be 30 next month. Oh, any advice? I'm done with the stupid shit. Oh, girl. I understand, girl. I will. Uh, I'll, we'll talk tomorrow. Hey, Sh Charlotte. Is that a yang like it's no joke? No. I got to get that. Oh, yes. Feels great to laugh. Love it. Yes. Choose your friends and battles wisely. Yeah. She said that's some, that's some ancient wisdom right there. And I'm doing a wise woman class, two hour at the last Sunday of the month, $47. So for the young people, that'd be a great one. And the older ones too, to come on into the wise woman class. And you can actually ask all your questions about what you want to ask. So we'll talk about that because I don't want to confuse y'all. Thank you for the $5. I can't see who gave it to me. Let me look at it in a minute. Uh, Michaela, oh my God, I caught you. My life is crumbling. I'll be 21 next year and I'm desperate for a mother. My own mom transitioned when I was A and I'm carrying a lot of pain. Please help me. I will help you, darling. We're going to do the wise woman course. And for my young sisters, we're going to probably put it, make it half price for you all, for the youngsters. So we'll see. We're going to work that out. Monique says, I'm hollering over here. Girl, what? Justin says, is that a pick of Grace Jones? No. What pick, honey? There's no pick of Grace Jones, but it, uh, no, but she, no, but I'm, I'm channeling her. That's a, now that's a sexy B.I. What? Okay. Then that Grace Jones told you I could be sexy with no hair, baby. No hair. Okay. North Kakalaki. Yes. What's that was NYC? I know, girl. That's something that I had to get used to in NC. That's true. Bodysuit, do it. I only wear bodysuits. Yes, don't you love a bodysuit, BB? Ain't nothing like a good bodysuit. Cindy says, need more time at home resting and meditating any goddamn way. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Ung Nevhead, you gave me the... Thank you for the beautiful donation. I'm so appreciative. Sugar Miller, Aquarius, thank you, Cherokee. Please, please help me. I'm tears. Oh, Michaela. Okay. Michaela. I bet what you're really upset about is something you can't even change because you can't control it. It's probably somebody else's stuff that you wish in the day would see you, hear you, understand you, give you something. They don't understand you. They don't want to give it to you. They will never be able to give to you only what you can give to yourself. I don't care what it is. At this moment, is there something that makes you feel good? Makes me feel good is looking at my bedroom. Makes me feel good is sitting on the couch. Makes me feel good is sitting in the sun. Right now, you have to find something that you can feel good about. Because if you're trying to get somebody else to see you, hear you, or somebody else to make you feel good or be affected by somebody else, that's not that's that's conditional love. And right now, we're in unconditional love, and it's for yourself. It's for yourself. How old are you, 20-something? It ain't that damn serious. And whatever happened to you, if it's really serious, if somebody violated you, then you have to call a crisis center to make sure that, you know, you get the help you need. But... I could sit here for more time, and I will. I will. Watch some of the videos, and maybe some of the other sisters in the meantime could actually assist you as well. But 
Find something right now that makes you turn away from what you what you feel is so sad about. Because why we still feel sad is because we're focusing on the sadness. We got to find something that's going to change us for that moment to get us out of the sadness into some type of joy. And without knowing your whole story, it's going to be a little hard. But I love you and I'm sending you love so true. So... Shanoa, uh, thank you. Um, you're very welcome. You are so giving. I have to give back. Thank you, darling. Shayla's Latrice, that is so true. Yes, goddess. Michaela, we got you, baby girl. Yes, love on her, y'all. She needs that. She needs that. Because us OGs, we laughing right now. We laughing because we look, realizing ain't none of it that serious. You still here. Can you imagine all the stuff we was torn behind when we were younger? Oh, my God. And now we be like, please. You know how black folks say, I wish. I wish that was all was my problem. Now, not to say this queen is not going through her problems. There's nothing I feel so hopeless. My mother's really going, oh, I know. I know that's hard. Yes, I know that's hard, darling. But she's not gone. She's not gone. She's with you. She brought you to this live stream today. She's not gone. She will always be with you. She's with you in everything that you do, and you don't know it. That's why I teach ancestor classes. I teach if you can have the ancestor class on Sunday, I'd love to have you. They're, never with, they're so with you. They show up in so many different ways. I say they because the one becomes many. And uh, when you start listening to them, you feel so secure, so happy, so amazing. So I'm going to let my queens uh, love you on you. Well, no, your people have taken advantage of you. Well, that's the old you. They ain't got to do that anymore. It's just some vibrational frequency you're giving out because you probably bought into there's something wrong with you, but ain't nothing wrong with you. So much right about you. We didn't need you to focus on what that is right now. I gave the ancestors some money last night for the new moon. Yay, was it the new moon? Thank you so much. I, I haven't kept track because every day is a new moon, a goddamn full moon, a, a waxing, waning moon. Every time I wake up, it's... I'm mooned. <laughs> I'm just mooned because the moon is out every day. And every day is a great day. But yes, yes, celebrate all the moons. Yes, help her out, y'all. Help her out. We're sending you love and peace and gentleness. And we're sending you a lot of hugs and high vibrational frequency. That's the power of us. That's the power of women, especially laughter and joy. And you know what? When you, when you see us laughing and laughing about our pains and our hurts, that's a good thing for you. You're supposed to be in that. You got to laugh too. And I'll tell you, like I said, I'm going to do a wise woman class. The last Sunday is going to be my master class. And it's going to be a lot of young folks. It's going to be a lot of my age and older too. Because we lost our wisdom, a lot of us. And we need to laugh at some shit for real. So I love you so much, ladies. And I want to thank you. No, you didn't bring the mood down, girl. We, we, you okay. You expressing your feeling, but you right. You gonna make me get my now I'm gonna go have to get my sage. You reminded me. See, girl, I love you. I love girl. Let's go get the sage. She so did. She named it. <laughs> we got to get some sage going. Oh Lord. I was trying to go to Target. But I realized the universe apparently does not want me to go to Target yet, cause we gotta burn some sage. So we're gonna burn some sage. We're gonna burn some sage. That's the best thing. Thank you for reminding me. This is a blessing. And I didn't even go into oh Lord. Because when I go into oh Lord, that means it's dire. <laughs> we're not gonna do dire right now. Let's burn some sage, ladies. We having a virtual party. Yes. Okay, we're gonna burn some sage. So yeah, girl, young stuff, I could tell you. All the stuff that I thought and people I thought didn't like me and didn't help me and use and abuse me. And then I realized, ah, oh, damn it. Then I realized it was me buying into some old stuff that wasn't even true. And I wish, you know, like that whole saying is like, I wish then what I know now. Well, I wish I knew then what I know now. You can't. You got to go through the experience. And you got to hang out with some goddess queens that could actually remind you, don't hang out with no old heads that's all hurt and broken and tell you how horrible men are and black people are and black women are. Go with some women that could say, girl, it was some shit I did and let me laugh about that and start having laughter and joy because when we have that, that stuff is healing. You already in the healing feeling. 
But you want if you want to stay in the dark feeling, then you could do that, but it's not gonna make you happy. So you're right about bringing the energy down. Now, I'm not saying you brought the energy down, but what I'm saying is you changed it. You didn't get in it. You took it down. So in other words, you didn't take it down, really, but you know, you did in a way. And I, let me say what I'm telling you, because I want to show you your power. If you got the power to feel that you took the energy down, if you apologizing for it, then understand that that's a lot of power that you have to even do that. So what if you took that power and switched around and every time you stepped into a situation, a room, a circumstance, a challenge, that you brought the energy up? You fell to the energy that's being put out to you as if it's more powerful than you are and it ain't more powerful than you are. And you can't stop. You now, now you know your power. So burn some sage and sit down with yourself. Play this video back. Start laughing. Get happy. So, you're powerful, and you just proved it. You just proved it. I burn so much incense and stuff, my lighters be breaking, but I think it's because they're from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> it could be, that's why. Okay. All right. Good. The mamas is helping. They're going to do what I can't right now because I got to go do some things, but I love y'all. We got the sage flowing, sage going, <laughs> sage. Ooh. <sighs> Woo, when you excite yourself. All right, ladies, I love you so much. Thank you, Cynthia Ali. I really have enjoyed this party. This one was a great party. We, was part we, all, we partied hard. We partied hard. It was a morning party. I love you so much. Share the video. Like the video. What else I tell you? Subscribe to the channel and comment, ladies. And I hope it brings other people more joy. I'll see you later in the Afrocentric Home Decor. More joy. I'll see y'all tomorrow in the goddamn body suit. Mm -hmm. We doing things different around here. And uh, also, uh, Goddess, you will be, be one of my guest speakers for the January course, if you're still there. I hope you are, because you're such an inspiration. All of you are. Ladies, you got the in last day to join the intensive sacred hibernation, $97 today as well as you still can join the two-hour, 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, the Ancestors and Dating, you can still join that, and you can join up to the last minute. And even after you, the next day, you can buy it, and just the video will be downloaded while you buy it, and it's going to be so cool. All right, y'all, keep your sage burning. I love you so very much. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. It's Saturday. We're going to do a Saturday stream. And it's going to be good. I'm here. I'm with it. Yes, darling. Yes, great. All right, ladies. This is Lisa Marie Goodson of the Blackberry Beauty Transformative Academy, Ancient African Wisdom for the Modern Sister. I love you, ladies. Peace and blessings.